In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a custom registration page for your membership website coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and uh, in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at how to create custom registration pages for your membership level. So pretty much when you use Wishlist member, this is the custom registration page that you get. This is a default link and it works pretty well. But as you can see here, it's very standard. And if we want to make our website look a bit more custom, we want to make sure that we create a page that has a bit of style to it. So this is what we're going to be creating. So as you can see here, this is pretty much the same information, but what I've done here is I've customized this page, give this header area here a custom image that gives us an idea of what membership level it is and what this membership is about. So you can see here, this is about filmmaking. And I also went in and gave this a title, which is gold membership registration. And I've also added this form here. Now, if we were trying to do this over here, it is quite difficult to do because this page here is created by wishlist member. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to create your custom registration pages with wishlist member. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you want to build membership websites, I have a course that comes free if you buy wishlist member using my affiliate link, which I'll add in the video description below. And also the page builder that we'll be using is Divi. Now, if you also want to design professional looking websites using Divi, I also have a bonus, which you get absolutely free if you buy Divi using my affiliate link. So everything you need is going to be in the video description below. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is to uh, take a look at our membership levels. Now, if you haven't created any membership levels, this is the time to create your membership levels. So I'm just gonna come over here to Wishlist Member, click on Dashboard. So this is going to give me my bird's eye view of what is happening on my membership website. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and created my membership levels. So I have gold, silver, and a VIP. So what we're going to do now with these membership levels is to go in and create our own custom one. So what we're going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here and click on add new. So the membership level we're going to be creating first is the gold membership. So I've gone ahead and uh, created a brand new page here just by coming over here and clicking on add new. All right, so let's give this page a name. So let's call this gold member register. All right, so we've given this page a title. The next step now is to go to the default editor. Now we're going to switch back to the DV editor, but for us to get the short code, we need to go into this default editor. So I'm gonna come over. In fact, you know what? Let's publish the page first. So I'm gonna hit here on publish, publish one more time. Now, once the page is published, we know that uh, this page is saved and whatever changes we're going to do on this page, they are already saved. All right, so now that the page has been published, the next step now is to go into the default editor. So the reason why it's important to go into the default editor is because this is where we need to get our short code. So here we're going to click on uh, this plus button. And on this plus button here, we need to search for the classic editor. So I'm gonna search for classic and here it is. I'm gonna select it. Now this is where we're going to get all our membership levels short codes. Right, so now that we have classic uh, loaded up, you can see here we have this wishlist member. If we click on this drop down, we have these merge short codes. We also have normal short codes. So what we need now is to come over here on short codes and then go to registration forms. So if I click here on registration forms, this now is going to give us all the registration forms. And you can see here gold membership is selected first. If I click on this drop down, we have silver and we have VIP membership. So the reason why I was saying it's important for you to create your membership levels first is because if you come over here, these membership levels will not show. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna copy this short code here and then just close out of this. And then I'm gonna click here on use Divi Builder. So next we're gonna click here on edit with the Divi Builder. So for this page, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm gonna click here on start building and then I'm gonna add a new section and that section is going to have our short code. So I'm gonna click here, click on regular and we're gonna have a single column. And in this column, we're going to have a text module. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for my text module here. And then over here, I'm gonna paste my code in here. Short code that we copied in the previous step. There we go. 
So this now is going to be our short code for the registration form. And this form is specific for anyone that comes to the website to sign in for the gold membership. All right, so we don't need to worry about this now. Let's save this. The next step now is to head over here now to our section and customize this header area. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon. Now this is gonna take us into our section settings. So I'm gonna come over here and give this a background first. And I'm gonna play around with some uh, dark colors here. So this is going to be my main color. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add an overlay image, uh, which we're going to stylize in a moment. So the next step now that we have added this background color is to come over here on the third tab. And this is where we want to add our image. So I'm gonna click here and now I already have images in my media library. So the image I'm gonna go with is this one here. So we're just gonna pretend that this is a membership level or a membership website for filmmaking. So I'm gonna select my image here and click upload an image. Now the technique I'm using of course can be used pretty much on any type of website. So your membership website could be a membership website about baking, it could be about dieting or sports or whatever it is, the technique is the same. So now that I have my image loaded up, the next step now is to come over here to image blend and this is where we need to change this to overlay. Now what you're gonna notice is it's gonna bring our dark color. So in order for our image to show in here, we need to go back over here to our color, click in this area here, and then drag the slider down until you're happy with the transparency. So as you can see here, the image now in the background is starting to show. That is great. The next step now is to come over here to design spacing. So what we're gonna do here on spacing is to give this a bit of padding. So I'm gonna start with four VW, both to the top and the bottom. In fact, I may, may, may even need to nudge this a few steps, maybe to about seven VW. Okay, that's looking great. I'm gonna save this. And then the next step now is to add our content over here. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button. We're gonna add a single column. Now this is where we're going to give this a membership a title. So let's search for our text module here. And then we're just gonna go in and uh, add our content. So now we can say gold membership registration. So I'm gonna highlight this text and set this to heading one. All right, so we're going to stylize this in a moment. Next, we're gonna click here on design, heading text. Now remember, this is heading one. So we need to come over here now and start playing around with our fonts. And I'm gonna go with pop-ins here. And then I'm gonna choose the font weight and we're gonna go here with the uh, ultra bold and we're gonna make it all caps as well and center it. So this is where now we can start playing around with the colors. So if you have colors from your color palette, this is where you can start adding your colors. So we're gonna start here with white. And to be honest, I don't think that works great. So I'm gonna come over here and uh, just reduce it down so I can add a bit of gray to this. Okay, so there we go. So that's my color there. So over here now, we're gonna change the size, the heading size. So we're gonna go with, let's say five VW. Now we can see it's nice and bold. And I really like how it is uh, very bold. So everyone can see when they land on this page that this is the registration page. All right, so that's looking great. So I may want to add some line height to this. So I'm gonna come over here and just nudge this a little bit like that. So 1.2 EM looks great. And we can see here in the background that this is to do with filmmaking. And as I mentioned before, you can also customize this to whatever membership level it is that you have on your site. So with that all set now, I'm gonna come over here and save. Okay, so that's looking great. Right, so the next step now is to uh, come over here to my text module. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go in and uh, make some customizations to our text. So I'm gonna change my font here to Poppins and hopefully this is going to update. There we go. So now you can see here that this has updated, which is great. So the next step now is to uh, just adjust the size a little bit here and uh, perhaps maybe bring it up to about 16. We're also going to add some line height and 1.8 is okay. So that's looking great. I am going to now save this. The next step now is to go into my row settings. So over here, we're going to uh, pretty much center everything. So we're going to go into design and then we're going to go into spacing. So let's give this a bit of breathing space first. So I'm gonna click here on padding and let's say to VW. So we're gonna add it to top, bottom, left and right. So usually this works as my starting point and then I'm gonna go back in, add a color and see how this is working. So back over here now on content, I'm gonna go to background. 
So this is where now we're going to add a bit of color to our form. And as you can see, this gives me an idea of how my form is going to be on my page. So now I can go in and just lower the brightness of this yellow by just scrolling all the way down here like that. I think that's okay. Next, I'm going to come back over here to design spacing. And this is where now I can play around with my settings. So over here on the left, I can increase this to about 16 just to make sure everything is all centered. And I may also increase the top and bottom here just to give this a bit of breathing space. There we go. Right, so uh, pretty much everything is all centered now. I'm, re I'm really happy with this. Now, what you can also do here is to add some negative space. But before we do that, since we're here on design, let's head over here to our border and give this a border of about six pixels just to round off the corners a little bit. And next, we're going to give this a drop shadow as well. So I'm going to come over here, choose my drop shadow. And then we're going to customize this. So on the blur strength here, we're going to set this to 80. And then the spread strength, we're just going to bring this down a little bit because it's a bit too much. Okay, let's go with minus 16. Right, so now with that said, I am going to now add some negative margins. So I'm going to come back over here to spacing and then I'm going to drag my margin here until I'm happy with the positioning. So I'm just going to keep going. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to try minus 120. There we go. So now you can see that we are really creating our custom page here. So the next step now is to uh, give this area some breathing space over here. So let's go ahead and uh, save this and then go into this section setting here, which is our second setting. So I'm gonna come over here, click on uh, design, and then I'm gonna go to spacing. So for the bottom here, I'm just gonna add some margin and let's try 7VW and see what that looks like. I may want to increase it maybe to about eight. Okay, so that's looking great now. And as you can see now, this is uh, really custom and it doesn't look like the normal standard uh, registration page that we normally get from a uh, wishlist member. So now that I have this all set, I can save this page now. Okay, so now we're going to exit the Visual Builder and this is our final registration page. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.